tonight on the bill. Where's your victim, Dave? It's gone. I think he's losing it again. Sierra 1, refs at 6, Tony and Paul, Sierra Oscar 2, refs at 5. Reg? Been in the job long enough, isn't it? Reg? Comes on top. Sod? Is there a problem? No, nah, just the usual, you know. We tried that ointment I recommended. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the under manning, isn't it? I mean, look, is this all we've got for the next eight hours? I'm sure we'll manage. What about Dave Quinn and Sarge? What about him? When well, I thought he was coming back today. So did I, but you survived with fewer than this before. I I'm sorry, there's a fight down at the Sultan pub. Can we get some units down there? Tony, back him up, please. Uh, ben and Cass, 2-1, off you go. First on scene, give me an update, yeah? Dave. Sorry about that, mate. It all took longer than I thought. What can I get you? Tea or a coffee? Uh, no, thanks, sir. Right. Grab a seat. So, welcome back. It's been a while. What, uh, seven, eight weeks? But you're feeling better, right? And fit enough to go back to work. And more importantly, you're not going to let your mates down, are you? Straight yes or no answer, Dave. I guess I'm not used to questions like that, sir. My counsellor says that I should... I'm not really interested in what your counsellor says. Oh, and also, I don't think you should tell anyone else about the type of treatment you've had, either. Well, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not saying you should be. I'm just saying that some coppers might regard you as a weak link if the details of your recovery come out. So keep it to yourself, yeah? Well, Mr Moreau knows all about it. He rang every week. Yes, I made sure he did. Look, if he wasn't happy having you back on his team, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Tom Chandler. Yes, I did. No, not right now, I can't. Could you hang on a sec? Right, Dave. Off you go. Where to, sir? Get changed and see what Inspector Munro wants you to do. Oh, and Dave, I don't want to hear any complaints from prisoners or from your colleagues. OK? OK, sir. Come on, get moving. Come on, keep walking, lads. Left, right, come on, left, left, come right. on. We have to arrest you. Cause any more trouble? Did you see Dave back at the Nick? When? Well, before the shift, he was going towards the canteen. You know. Who's this? Ah, oh, Dave Quinnan. I'm just saying, it's nice to see him back. You know, off sick leave. Pity. He can stay away as long as he likes, as far as I'm concerned. You haven't even met him. I don't have to. I know the sort. Nervous breakdown, a few months in the funny farm. Thinks everything's back to normal. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to have you back, Dave. Is that what Mr Chandler told you to say? Sorry? Nothing, sir. Oh, let me guess. PC Quinnan. Dave, this is our new Sergeant Craig Gilmore. Sarge? Dave, heard a lot about you. Nothing bad, I hope. I was thinking about easing Dave back with a spell in the front office. Were you, sir? I was thinking about a few hours in a panda. Who with? On his own. If you're up to the job. Sure, sure, try and stop me. I'll just, um... Uh, you'll keep an eye on Dave, yeah? No, sir. If he needs special treatment, he shouldn't really be here, should he? All units, Sierra Oscar, 5 Nan Downs Road. An abandoned call for police. Any unit deal?
340 receiving. Sierra Oscar, are you receiving? Over. Go ahead, Sarge. Yeah, it's the Emma Hamilton. Someone just oh. found the yard said there's a discord driver about to make off in his vehicle. Can you take a look? See if the vehicle's in the car park? Over. All received. It's a white Toyota Hiace, November 367, Romeo Whiskey, November. Are you okay? About Dave. I just thought with him uh, coming back today. You concentrate on your driving tone. Don't worry about me. Sierra Oscar from 340 receiving. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm on scene at the at the Emma Hamilton now. No sign of the white van. Can you give me the details of the driver over? The PNC's just gone down. Stand by. Sarge, the Discord vehicle's still on scene. Any joy with that PNC? Yeah, it's just come back. Uh, you're looking for a Daniel Creston, 54 Foxwood Drive. I'll do a name check. Yeah, I can't move the Panda any closer without being a bit obvious. Are there any mobile units free to assist if the driver decides to make a run for it? Over. Yeah, 340 from Sierra One. Uh, we're nearby. If you need any help, just give us a shout. Over. Thanks, Rich. Oh, and uh, Dave, if you don't mind me saying so, uh, we've all missed you. Received. Oh, please. 340 from Sierra Oscar. Read Daniel Creston. Uh, date of birth 6745. IC1, 5'10. Over. Received. Yeah, uh, 340 from Sierra 1. I believe your suspect is also known as Danny the Cap on uh, nature of the fact he normally wears a flat cap. Yeah, I nicked him myself a couple of years ago. He is a nasty customer, so uh, be careful. And uh, we are local if you need any assistance. Over. All received, Reg. You're not a knight, are you? Yes. What do you want? Me? I was just wondering if you mind if I kept here for a couple of nights, you know. Three or four. No. Oh, go on, you got a spare room. He's taken, Joe. Anyway, I thought you were staying at Mum and Dad's. I was. We had a slight disagreement about overnight guests. Don't tell me. You took a girl home. Well, they had nowhere else to go. They? Yeah. Sisters. Twins. Not identical, though. Well, what about the sofa? There's no one sleeping there, is there? So does that mean it's OK? I'll take that as a yes, then, yeah? Just go and get me bags. Sierra Oscar from 340. Sierra Oscar from 340 receiving. Stand by, Dave. We're all on the phone. Come on. Come on. Sierra Oscar from 340, urgent message. 
Go ahead, Dave. The Emma Hamilton, ambulance and urgent assistant required. One male with gunshot wounds. I'm looking for the assailant now. Can I have an LV down here? Over. That's all received. Any units assist 340. Over. Sierra Oscar 2. Sierra 1. Sierra Oscar 2, Sierra 1 received. 340, have you got a description of the suspect? Negative, Sarge. The victim is Daniel Creston, the disqualified driver. He was shot in his vehicle. He looked pretty dead to me, but better keep that ambulance running. Received. Sierra 1 location. Harker Avenue, Sarge. We'll be there in a minute. Received. Trojan 631's been assigned. Remember, no one take any chances till they're on scene. Did you receive that, Dave? <laughs> My last. Yes, Sarge, all received. Where's your victim, Dave? 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 It's gone. What? Yeah, there was a man with, with half his brains all over the windscreen of a white van. A witness said he saw a bloke with a gun around the other side of the pub. So where's the van? I don't know. Where's the witness? I don't know. Don't you believe me? Polly? It was right here! So what about this white van? Dave said he saw it. What do you say? Wasn't here, was I? I'm absolutely 100% certain, sir. He reckons I was dreaming. But you definitely saw... A man shot in the back of the head. And this man was... Daniel Creston. You sure? He answered the description of the registered keeper, sir. Excuse me, officer. Do you mind, sir? We're in the middle of something here. I just thought I should introduce myself. I'm Danny Creston. Thanks for your time. If you could just wait in the pub, yeah? Thanks. Sarge, what should we do now? There aren't any witnesses out here. What should we do? Look inside? What for? Because we've got a missing vehicle believed to be involved in a murder. Believed? Look, just get looking. Got the index, yeah? Sarge, yeah. You know we're wasting our time, don't you? Well, there's been a development of sorts. Uh, this gentleman... Oh, yeah. Danny Creston, isn't it? I nicked you a couple of years ago. Do you remember? No. Where's your cat? Someone stole it in the pub. When I saw you lot out here, I thought I might as well report it. Yeah, we've got a more serious matter to deal with at the moment, Mr. Creston. Can you tell me if your van was parked out there? Van? Oh, no, I sold that a couple of months ago. But I saw it. He also saw him with a bullet in his head. What? There was a man, bit like you, wearing a flat cap. Shot dead, according to PC Quinnan. I saw him. There was also a witness saw a man with a gun. I don't believe this. You calling me a liar? Not a liar. No. What is your problem? All right. Sierra Oscar 1 from Sierra Oscar receiving. Go ahead, Jim. You've still got Trojan 631 running to your location. Should I cancel? Y yes, please, June. Can you circulate the index and description of the white van? If we can find that, we might make some progress. Over. All received. Polly. I think he's losing it again. All I'm asking for is a little more help. I want to talk to everybody inside that pub. Yes, we and will. And we need to ask Danny Creston a few more quick. Where is he? Where is he? Where's who? Danny Creston, where is All he? All units, Sierra Oscar. The Sultan is kicking off again down there. Any units free to deal? Come on, Lizzie, babe. So then... Yes, Rich, take the call. You too, Tony. What about us, Gov? We're not finished. Aren't we? Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 1 receiving. Uh, go ahead, sir. The original phone call about this disqual driver. Who made it, you? Um, it was a male anon using a payphone, I think. You know, I can give you the number. Yep, yeah, this is the one. Excuse me, mate. Did you see who was using that phone around 2.30? No. Come on, half past two, who was hanging around? Fat bloke, about 50, wearing a black jacket. What kind of jacket? Black bomber jacket. 
Listen to me. Black bomber jacket, khaki trousers. This is important. Sorry, mate. Can't help you. Sounds like an open and shut case. All we need to do now is find a weapon and a motive. Oh, and uh, a witness and a suspect and uh, a victim. I know what everybody thinks. I know what they're saying. And no one's saying anything, Dave. You think I'm paranoid? No. No, of course not. Do you want to go home, Dave? Do you want me to go home, sir? Not if Mr Munro's happy. No. Okay, let's say there was a van. Who drove it away? The bloke who'd been shot. That'd be stupid. Hey, look, I'm just trying to make sense of all this. Mind you, could be just like Dave Quillen's a nutter. Why don't you shut up? Yeah, it could have been one of them psychotic hallucination things. Hey, he seems all right to me. If he was ill, they wouldn't let him back on duty. Yeah. Here, Paul, how did Dave seem to you? Paul? You all right? Yeah. Dave? Yeah, fine, thanks. Look, if you want to talk, I'm around. You're not the first person who's had to come back to work after having problems. But you and me, we're very different. Well, how's that? Well, I didn't choose to get stabbed. Oh, and I chose to become an alcoholic. Somebody forced that booze down your neck, did they? The office still stands. What are you doing? Oh, it's just hungry. Fancy some tea? Or is it breakfast for you? Oh, by the way, I'm running out of lager. Look, just slow down and start again. At what time is your dad supposed to be meeting you? 6.30. He was going to drive me to King's Cross. Yeah, well, it's only 9 o'clock now. Yeah, but I've missed my train. Why can't your mum tell you? She died three years ago. And that's not the point. Where is he? I really don't think you need to worry just yet. He's never late for anything. Never. I've tried his mobile about a hundred times. It's switched off. Can you think of anywhere else he might have gone? Back to a friend's house or the pub. Look, why don't you calm down and just think about it for a minute? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're right. I've been a bit previous. Just a silly cow, aren't I? You're right, you're right. You all right, Dave? Yep, yep, fine, thanks. Just thought you might want these. Yeah, thanks for this. It's all right, mate, need the rent. Right, it'll only be for a couple of weeks. You can stay as long as you like. Although you might not want to. Why not? You haven't met my brother, have you? Thanks a lot, guys, yeah. If he's not back by midnight, give us another call. Thank you. You look tired. No, I'm all right. So there was no blood on the ground? No, nothing. No sign of a shooting, nothing. And this Danny Creston, he just, he just disappeared? Well, I know what I saw. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm sure it will all sort itself out. Oh, hang on. What? C can we talk? About what happened? Two months. Two whole months without a word. And now you want to talk. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'd come and have a look before I had take over. Was he shot this afternoon? Hmm. Back of the head job. Bang. Paul. Paul, is that you? You must be Joe. You must be Derek. Dave. Hello, Dave, all right, mate. Fancy a drink? Come, Paul's got some whiskey up here. Sit on. Are you uh, both in the same boat? How's that? Both homeless. Oh, my mum's kicked me out of her ass. 
And your wife's kicked her out of yours, yeah? Yeah, something like that, yeah. I found it. I do like drop whiskey. Listen, you're on bill, right? Tell me this, right? If if I wanted to be a snout, right, do I apply to CID or the uniform museum as well? Snouts, uh, yeah, well, we all have our informants. You looking for someone new? <laughs> you volunteering? I could do with the extra cash. Cheers. You don't feel I could do it? I don't know. Well, try me. Well, it's tricky. I couldn't pay you, not if you weren't registered. Yeah, but you could give me something on account, maybe. Look, look, there are all sorts of rules about co-handlers. I mean, if we're living under the same roof. Oh, come on, Dave. Look, I'm offering you a free trial here, right? If you don't like what I do, then, then you're under no obligation to use me again. You've got nothing to lose. <laughs> uh, OK, actually, there is somebody I'd like to know a bit more about. Yeah? Danny Crestin. Danny the Cap Crestin. You ever heard of him? No. Right. No, hold it. No, actually. No, that does ring a bell. Yeah, what do you want to know? Well, what he's been up to lately, who his friends are, who his enemies are, that sort of thing. Yeah. All right, no problem. Leave it with me. Joe. Joe, where are you going? Hold on. Joe! Joe, you, Joe, you can't just... Hello? Yeah, Dave, it's Paul. Well, I've got some news for you. Uh-huh. Through the back of the head, yeah? What was he wearing? Yeah, grey trousers, black coat. What's that? No, no, there's no sign of a cat, but we did find some ID in his wallet, and his name's Graffy. Frederick Graffy. Have we got an address? No, no, listen, thanks for telling me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. to ring you, lot. God, no, what's happened? Who's the next to kin? That's none of your business, mate. Uh, I want to find out what's going on. After Nick think I'm crazy. Yeah, only half. If this isn't bloke I saw get shot, then I want to find out who did it. Look, I've got Amit coming up here in half an hour. I only need five minutes. Look, if I'd have known this is what you were going to do, I never would have told you what we'd found. Yeah, I know, and you did, and I'm grateful. Now, you're going to let me have a word with the widow? It's the daughter, Angie. And I'm supposed to be taking her to the morgue, all right? But she's too upset at the moment to be able to go. Couple of questions, that's all. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is there any chance we can get some tea? Sure. <laughs> I'm Peace of Quinn and Sun Hill. I know this is a very difficult time for you, but I, I need to ask you a few questions. It's important. Did your father know a man called Creston? You what? Danny Creston. Did your dad know him? They were friends. What's Danny got to do with this? Well, that's what I need to find out. Did you know Danny yourself? I met him a few times. He used to come in here drinking with Dad. <laughs> Did your dad have any enemies? No. What about Creston? Everyone hated him. Apart from Dad. I could see the good in everyone. Even Danny Creston. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! Right, Dave, that's it. I've not finished yet. Yes, you have, mate. Now go home and get some sleep. 
I'll go back to the pub. Look, Dave, it's not going to be open. There's a barman there. I'm sure he wanted to tell me something. I'll keep you posted. Drink up! Hey, remember me. PC Quinnan. Can we talk? He sees me talking to you, he'll kick me out, he'll probably... Probably what? I can't tell you you're a copper. This is strictly off the record. I'm not even here. I've overstayed my visa. I should have left the UK months ago. Don't worry about it, I won't tell anyone. What happened today? It's all crazy. And what did happen today? I don't know. I just don't want you thinking I'm any part of it. Don't be silly, go on. I'm sick of this place. I'm sick of the people who drink here. Scum like Danny Creston. You know it was me who rang the police? No. I thought I could get him arrested. I knew he was banned from driving. He's always laughing about it. I thought I'd give you a lot of bell. Maybe that'd do the trick. But he stayed inside the pub. Why? He saw you outside. He's laughing about you, crouching down behind the car. Right. Next thing I know, the car park's full of police cars. But you didn't hear a shot. I was too busy. Look, I didn't have anything to do with anything. All right. Listen, wait a minute. I've said enough. Hi, Dave. Can you do a couple of PNC checks for me, Sarge? They're blocking the neighbour's driveway. Go ahead with the details. Frederick Grappy. Right, there's also a blue Jag. Registration Alpha 461 Bravo Kilo Tango. Stand by. Here we go. Antonio Strelozzi? Strelozzi, how do you spell that? You got an address? Yeah. Pity. Pity, I was hoping they lived nearby so I could get them to shift them. Still, never mind. Thanks, Arch. Listen, I just been round to Creston's. There was no one there. You did what? Well, I could see you weren't going to do anything about it. Well, of course I'm not. It's not my case. You're leaving it up to Abib? Yeah. What do they say about Creston? I'll just leave it now, Dave, yeah. Go on. Oh. Hang on, I'm coming. Is he here? Oh. Dave, he's staying here, isn't he? Yeah. Well, where is he? He got caught in the net. What for? Obtaining PNC details without good reason. There was a good reason, sir. Let's hear it. I... I wanted to prove that I could still do my job, and I wanted to find that van. Wasn't the fact that a dead man turned up good enough? It proves you weren't seeing things. Well, I thought I could tie everything up. On your own? What the bloody hell do you think Amip's for? It's their job, not yours. I warned you about your behaviour. I told you I wouldn't stand for any more of this nonsense. Sorry, sir. You will be if you carry on like this. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm still in love with you. Nice. No, you tell Dave that I am not going to put up with this crap. And if he doesn't say sorry, I'm going to ram these down his throat. Fancy a coffee? Well, he had a rough day. That's no excuse. You know we found a body out in the family fields. A bloke called Grappy. Shot in the back of the head. Grappy? 
Not Frederick Grappy. Mm -hmm. I was talking to his daughter yesterday. She said he was missing. Well, she was right then. What did she say about her father? You what? Angie Grappy. What are these? You said she reported her father missing. Why didn't you tell me? Why would I? Well, because it might have helped me figure things. Help you! Paul! 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 Hello, darling. Polly, wait! Hello, Dave, mate. Listen, I've got some Not now, Joe. Polly. Polly, listen to me. Polly! Can't, can't we sort this out? Oh, for rot. Come on, mate. Sent you any flowers? You know, I almost believe you. I mean, if you couldn't be bothered to get in touch all the time you were away, why start now? Paul, I'm sorry. Have you any idea how much you've hurt me? <coughs> Who sent you? I just needed some time. And what about me? I mean, did you even think what I might be going through? Well, I thought you hated me. I didn't. Kate, Kate, it's Dave. Dave Quinnan. I need to talk to you. No, today. <laughs> Get an ambulance. Sorry. That's all right. Take your time. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, Paul, eat up. I'm not really hungry. I'm worried about you. Dave, you're not. He's the one with a problem, Tone. It's everyone's problem. Do you think you can work with him? Of course I can. Didn't look like that to me. Come on, Paul. I know you too well. You said you needed to talk. Don't know what I need. Maybe some more drugs. Prozac's doing nothing. Mm. It'll take a few weeks to kick uh, in. I need it now. It sounds as if something's happened. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you could say that. Apart from everything else, I had one of my nightmares last night. Do you want to tell me about it? Same as before. Well, I thought they'd stopped. Thought I was better. I had been really looking forward to going back to work. You know I had. Mm. And I was I was sure. I, I was sure I was ready, but but then. But then. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Everyone. Well, he seemed normal enough till he sent me those flowers. Forget the flowers. He won't do that again. I don't need you to fight my battles. Tone, I'm going to be fine with Dave. Who are you trying to kid? They think I've lost it. Everything's going pear shaped, aren't they? Paul and Joe Riley, what happened to them? The bloke in the van? When I, when I was telling everybody what I saw, you should have seen the look on their faces. But you've seen crimes before that no one else witnessed. Yeah. And you were sure about what you saw, weren't you? 
Yes. But you feel different about this. This was my first shout. It was so important to get it right. Important? Yeah, well, I wanted to show everybody I was as good as new. Their opinion means a lot to you? Well, I don't care what some of them think. There's a new area car driver, he can go to hell. But Polly, yeah. Uh... Polly Page. Yeah. Now I thought she'd believe me. <laughs> well, I guess I wanted her approval. I wanted her to put her arm around me and tell me everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Only if you make an effort to talk to Dave. Sort it out. What about you? Me? Yeah, I didn't see you going for a drink with him at the end of his shift. We'll be okay. Yeah? Yeah. I expect so. Finished. Yeah, thanks. I'm afraid we're gonna have to leave it there. Yeah. My superintendent wants me out. My colleagues want me out, but I know what I saw. I'm still a decent copper. You up and about then? No, thanks to you, Dave. Hey? You told Joe to find out about Danny Creston. Hold on, I, I wasn't being serious. He went to every dive in Sunnyhill asking people what they knew about him. I didn't mean for him to go. Is it any surprise that he ended up upsetting somebody? Well, he wanted to be a snout. He volunteered for the job. And you let him? I mean, he didn't know the risks he was taking. Neither did I. Did he find out anything useful? What? I've got to know, haven't I? Did, did he find out anything that might help me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what he found out. He found out that Creston's got a few enemies. And a couple of friends. The ones that did this. Yesterday, right, I saw a fat bloke coming out with a man who got shot. Now, when you were digging around about Creston, did anyone mention a fat bloke? Friend of his? Or, or friend of Grabby's? I can't remember. Listen, Joe, Joe, this is important. Ten. Twenty. 30, 40, 50, 60. Actually, they did um, mention something about a bloke vanishing. What, fat bloke? A uh, tubby bastard was the phrase I used. What was his name? I can't remember. No, hold it. Um, uh, Harry. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Harry. It's got to be worth a pony, isn't it? Beth? Tony? I wasn't sure you'd be back. Why is that? Didn't go too well, did it? Yesterday. I've had better shifts, yeah. So what are you up to? Why? Just wondered. Well, you thought I was ordering Polly Page some more flowers over the internet. Have a look if you like. I was just trying to...
What do you want? Harry Webster? Nah. I saw you yesterday coming out of Emma Hamilton. So? You were with Frederick Grappi. He's dead. Do you want to tell me why? So, I know that you saw me at the pub yesterday. Of course I did. I was watching you bending me on the cars. We was all laughing at you. Who's we? Me, Fred and Danny. Danny Creston? Yeah. So, what did you do when you saw me, apart from laugh? Well, Danny gave Fred his cap, told him to go out of the van, pretend to be him. What for? Well, to take the piss. He thought you'd stop him a few yards down the road, breathalyse him, name check and all the business. Then you find out you got the wrong man. That doesn't sound very funny to me. Well, you had to be there. You left the pub with Frederick Grappy. Well, I was going to drive behind and watch what happened. Then you saw a man with a gun. Well, he came running right past me towards a blue jag. He was uh, searching for his pockets like he was looking for something. See me watching him, pointed a gun at me. That's when I ran away. I saw you standing at Danny's van. You went to look for the bloke. He came back round the other way, jumped in the van and drove off. With Grappy's body still in the front? Well, I suppose I was up and running myself by that time. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. That's the jag that was in the pub car park. Registered keeper one Antonio Strelozzi. And who's he? He might just be the man that shot Frederick Grappy. You think he used his own vehicle? Well, the whole job's been a botch up from start to finish. Creston's a small-time villain with small-time enemies. Admittedly, quite a few, but why shouldn't a cheap hitman make a few mistakes? A few mistakes? We find the hitman, we might just find out who paid him. Look, I'm sorry, this is a wild goose chase. Hang on a minute, Craig. All right, Dave, if you think you're onto something, why don't we paste in your Strelozzi a visit? Good idea, sir. I'll square it with SCG. We'll get SO19 as backup. Yes? Yeah. Good. Craig, could you organise that, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir? Well? Found a handgun upstairs. What about the van? Take a look for yourself. Well done, Dave. Happy now? No, not really. One suspect in custody, one murder weapon, one missing van. What more do you want? You still don't trust me, right, do you? What if I could prove to you it wasn't me who sent you the flowers? Ah, nothing on the card. Can't be that many florists in Sun Hill. Come on. No. There's another one in Humber Street. You sure you got time for this? I'm on refs till six. Yeah, it looks like our paper. So you're gonna tell us who sent the flowers? Well, I'm not sure. It was only this morning. Oh, well, I remember who it was. No, well, it's just we do promise to be discreet in these matters. Discreet? Listen... Look, I was sent those flowers as a sick joke. Now, we can either do this official and I take you down the nick, or I can ask you again nicely. Who sent me those flowers? Well? Here we are. Mr Desmond Tavener. Oh, Des? Should have guessed. Is that all you want? No. Yeah. Can I buy some flowers, please? Oi! Is this your idea of a sick joke? These are for you, you gorgeous hunk. Give me your... I'm not going to read the rest of it. Get yourself in there. Now I'm going... No! Oh, well done, Dave. I've worked a trade. Uh, 
that cost a fortune. Still, it was worth it. So you smile again. But we're okay now, yeah? Yeah. I think so. I'll see you later then. See you later. I checked him out. They'll have a crap. Nice one, Mickey. 15 year old boy, your unofficial snail. We do not sail in close to the wind. 